I was going to say don't call it a comeback, but you can call it a comeback if you want. I stopped talking to a camera and putting it on the internet nearly a year ago. I didn't quit. I never said I was quitting. You all acted like I was. If you read all the comments in the last video, you'd think I was leaving forever or worse. <laughs> I suppose it's nice that you're all wishing me luck, but it, it just felt, it felt like that moment in Hot Fuzz. There's one thing you haven't taken into account, and that's what the team is going to make of this. You couldn't wait for me to get out the door. When I left, I was about to make a show for Comedy Central. That's done now, because that, that's how time works. It's called East Mode, and it stars Nigel Ong, who you might know as the internet sensation that is Uncle Roger. It's available now and has been for a while. All eight sketches, I will leave the playlist link below. Do you remember when people used to call that the doobly-doo? <laughs> it was a really fun project to direct because every single episode was set in a different style or a different genre. There's a heist one where I got to do my best impression of Steven Soderbergh, a horror, a detective one. There's a perfume advert parody, which was very specifically taking the piss out of some Chris Hemsworth, Hugo Boss adverts, which are some of the most pretentious I've ever seen. I did a very subtle reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey, see if you can spot it. I also referenced the synesthesia scene in Ratatouille and got the actual animator, Michel Garnier, to reference his own work. I just asked him and his exact response was that he wouldn't want anyone else to do it. And so he did our little silly sketch, <laughs> parodying his own work. Yeah, it, it was a fun one. After making East Mode, I took a very purposeful break because I just spent five months of my life on it. I wanted to experience something I'd never experienced before. So I went on safari in Kenya, saw all the animals, lived my childhood Lion King dreams. It was like seeing that in real life. You know, all the CGI ones that, you know, the remake, that's the best one. I kind of can't believe I'm just here. They could kill me at any time. They might if you don't stop vlogging. All right. There he is. There he is. Here he is, or here he is. Lions, elephants, giraffes. I saw crocodiles tearing apart a zebra. Why do they roll over like that? To cut. You know, they don't have a good cutting system. So when catch a meat, it go roll. So right. they need to cut the meat. I'm quite enjoying the hippo just See them. There. See them. Solid. That was... Uh, an experience. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was just trying to outrun my January blues, but it didn't matter how fast I ran, they were always going to catch up with me. Do you see what I did there? It's not been the funnest of years, it's been quite slow. And I wanted to make this video because I haven't had a massive success, and I think people on the internet only tell you about their big successes. It's been fine. It's been slow. I haven't got a deal to direct the next Marvel movie yet. I did have some good news recently. I signed to a new management company called OB Management. They specifically represent directors for music videos and commercials. And my goal right now is to just be on set more, as much as possible. That's where my joy is. I just want to chase that. And hopefully that will lead to doing more film and television. I've got a new short film that's going to come out tomorrow that I made because of this new management company. It's a collaboration with Three and Honor. They got me to shoot a short film on their phone. They're not paying me to tell you about this, They're not paying me to put it on their channel. I was paid as a director to make this short film, but I'm very proud of it. I want to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, who knows when I'll be back on here, but I'm not quitting. I never said I was quitting. <laughs>